Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am excited to go over this brand new 2024 Ram 2500 Tradesman Pro Master. This is a 136 inch wheelbase with the high roof. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, show you everything with this van. Stock number on it is 24T138. And I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used cargo van headquarters. To start off, this van has the 3.6 liter V6 engine. It puts out 276 horsepower, 250 foot-pounds of torque, and it's paired up with a nine-speed automatic transmission. And where these vans really outperform a lot in the classes that they are a front-wheel drive vehicle. So um, they uh, don't have a drive shaft and they can be a little bit lower load floor, which is always nice. You can see this one does come with the fog lights and uh, it does have the cab lights up top. This one also has the convenience group and the power group, which when we take a look at the original window sticker, um, be able to show you everything that goes along with those two groups. Comes with Nexon, Rodian, CT8 tires. These are LT225, 75R17, steel wheels, four wheel disc brakes. These are very simple vehicles, basically engine, transmission, wheels, tires, shocks, and a big cargo area with um, a couple creature comforts on the inside. But you can see there is just a ton of room on these high roofs for um, signage, advertising that you can do, and uh, just a lot of stuff. So imagine your website or your brand on the side of this van. Um, driving everywhere is a constant billboard uh, wherever you go, put your phone number, your website on the back so everybody can get to it while they're following you and uh, provide them with the services they need that you offer. Has the towing package on it, which is a nice feature. The receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Also the backup parking sensors. This one does have a backup camera, which is mounted up there. Uh, these doors are really cool. They swing open all the way. And you can see they go that far. So when you're loading and unloading loads, especially if you're hauling things with pallets, you can get these doors open all the way so that the forklift can get right up to the back of your vehicle and put it in as far as possible. And I believe that side door opens up all the way, which allows for a side um, loading feature as well. Now this one does come with the side paneling as well as the heavy duty uh, rubber floor mat on the bottom here. The convenience group gives you this really nice LED light up there. You can turn that off. You can have it on when just the doors are open. You can turn it on manually um, or you can just have it off all the time. But that's a really nice feature. It really illuminates the back nicely. And you can see it's a really low load floor, which they get from uh, not having that drive, drive shaft in there. You can have a lower load floor. And we're gonna hop up inside here. And I don't need a handle or anything. Now the ceiling height in this vehicle is six foot five inches, which um, from the floor to here is six foot five, to this brace is six foot four which is nice. The average US male is five foot nine. So definitely plenty of headroom. I have no problem. I'm six foot and I still have plenty of area above me. So I'm not going to worry about smacking my head on anything. So the high roof is a really nice uh, way to go on these vans. Let's get these doors closed. You always have to close the driver's side first. And they do have handles on the inside. As you can see there, so if you are on the inside, you can still get out of the vehicle. They shut nicely. Let's go take a look at that sliding side door. These things slide so nice and smooth. And then they lock into place. And once again, 
not very far that you have to go to get into this vehicle. All right, let's go check out the inside. And then we will take a look at the original window sticker. I will link the original window sticker, a copy of the original window sticker in the description below on this video. Let me know anything you want to know about these vans and I will try and incorporate that into my next video. These do have heated power mirrors. They have built-in directional signals. They power fold in and you have blind spot mirrors on there as well. Up front, you get the black and dark charcoal cloth bucket seats. You get an armrest on the driver's side and side curtain airbags. I would assume this is for tilt on the steering wheel or on the seat. Heavy duty rubber floors, electronic parking brake, fog lights. That's for your instrument cluster, how bright you want it, power windows, locks and mirrors. And like I said, these things do fold in, which I'll show you once we start it. Top and side, take a look at the instrument cluster and everything on here. So you get just the little instrument cluster there. It does have digital speedometer on it, which is nice. It also tells you the speed limit. Nice flat bottom steering wheel, which is nice so that you can get your legs in here and not hit it on the steering wheel. It does have adaptive cruise controls and regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, and audio controls in the back of the steering wheel. This is the Uconnect 5 seven inch touchscreen radio. You can see it does have AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities on it. Of course, you can hook up Bluetooth and it has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. There's your backup camera so you can project your phone right to the screen and being the Uconnect 5, I believe those features are wireless. So you can connect your phone to the screen if you have a nav system on your phone such as Waze or Google Maps, project it right to the screen. It's like you have nav on the screen, which is a really nice system to have. Here's your nine speed automatic transmission. Your climate controls are here and your stability control also has a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, 12 volt power point. You get a USB and a USB-C hookup. And here's your key fob. Nice holder right here uh, for whatever you may need, coins or your keys or, and then you get three cup holders down there. And storage area there. SOS and assist buttons. You get map lights here. The other thing I forgot to show you while we we're up inside the vehicle or inside the cargo area is let me turn these lights on here. Well, they turned on automatically. Anyways, there's a storage cubby up here as well. They give you a nice tray so stuff's not rolling around. And you know, it's probably about, I don't know, about a foot high. 11 inches high so that you can get stuff up there, which is really nice. All right. Here is the original window sticker, as promised. You can see 2024 Ram 2500 Promaster Cargo, 136 inch wheelbase, high roof. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. Um, so traffic sign recognition, electronic parking brake, full speed forward collision warning plus, pedestrian, cyclist emergency braking, multi-collision braking, electronic stability control. I never seen this before, crosswind assist. So that's pretty cool. Electronic roll mitigation, trailer sway damping, and all speed traction control, park view backup camera. And you can read the rest there, 24 gallon fuel tank. The interior features are right there. You can see Sirius um, Uconnect 5, seven inch touchscreen, Sirius XM uh, capabilities, Google, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, and everything else that you see there. So the convenience group is a $845 option, gives you the power folding mirrors, the front fog lamps, the adaptive cruise control with stop and go, rear cargo LED lamp, and heated power folding mirrors. Power group gives you the 220 amp alternator, 100 amp battery, the 115 volt auxiliary power outlet, 12 volt rear auxiliary power outlet, and the cargo compartment floor mat by Mopar is 330. The upper and lower side wall paneling is 590, and the Park Sense Park Assist system, the backup parking sensors is 295, and then the receiver hitch is 495. 
Total MSRP is $55,240 to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives on this van. Is, there's a link in the upper right-hand part of the screen, also linked in the description below to this vehicle on our website to see what rebates and pricing we are offering on this van. Three-year 36 bumper-to-bumper, five-year 60 powertrain. So this is really good. You know, uh, greenhouse gas ratings B- minus and a small rating of A. So I think that's really good. You, you know, a lot of people are going the environmental route on these vans and those are some pretty good ratings for a full-size van like this we'll do a final walk around on the vehicle and then we'll be all set to go i wanted to show you real quick it has a normal fuel fill cap and we'll just do one more final walk around and once again please let me know what you want to see on these videos in the future so when I do more vans like this, I can be better equipped to give you the information that you're looking for. And to see more pictures of this van or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, cargo vans, go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you wanna check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summit auto, click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and cargo van walk arounds on YouTube and stay current on our ever changing vast new car inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Ram cargo vans I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Ram 2500 ProMaster Tradesman in 136 inch wheelbase in bright white clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and have a great day.